Hi everybody, let's try revising a college essay with ChatGPT and Claude AI. At the end of this video, I will give my recommendation for which one to use. Here is a simple prompt. Line edit the following sentence for clarity. That did a good job with the first phrase, but didn't touch the second phrase. This sentence could be a lot stronger without the it was starting that second phrase. You could try the regenerate button to see another option. We see a lot of improvement in the first phrase, which is now a standalone sentence. The last part of what was the second phrase is stronger with the wording facil facilitated the emergence instead of allowed for markets of black tar heroin to arise. Notice that the AI also corrected the proper spelling of heroin. I'm troubled by this, however it was, construct. I love the word however, but I find that students rely too often on transitional words like however, therefore, nevertheless, furthermore, moreover. Transitional words are helpful, but are really annoying when using every paragraph. Students also rely too heavily on starting sentences with it. There's nothing wrong with the word it but I've seen essays where almost every sentence starts with it. When you see it at the beginning of a sentence, think of that as a flag for possibly revising that sentence. Give AI specific instructions for revising. Revise the second sentence in a way that does not use however it was. This revision makes that second sentence much stronger. But do you spot the disconnect with the first sentence? Do you notice how the two sentences do not quite flow together? Why is that? One thing that AI does not correct in these examples is the fundamental problem with the structure of the original sentence that leads to a redundancy in thought. Let's look again at that original sentence. The first phrase indicates that prescription bill pills were a contributing factor to the abuse of opioids. The second phrase, though, indicates that the problem is with the poor prescribing practices of doctors. Regenerating the response from ChatGPT gives us a more concise sentence. Takeaway. As the writer, you have to decide if your AI assistant is clarifying what you're really trying to say. Line editing is about refining the flow, style, and clarity of your writing. It's where we focus on the sentence structure, word choice, and clarity. Line editing takes place after the first draft of your essay. Use the first draft, and even the second draft, to get your ideas onto the page. You can upload an entire essay to these tools, but I prefer to go paragraph by paragraph and line by line. The reason I go line by line is that's how people read your writing. It also helps you think through the ideas. Let's see how claw.ai handles the same sentence as before. We will use the same prompt. Oh dear, I already see a problem that students will encounter with those dashes. This is a minor but important detail. Those should be M dashes. M dashes are not surrounded by spaces. If we compare this response to even the first revision by ChatGPT4, we see that ChatGPT4 returned a better sentence. We can ask Claude to retry 
but the Senate still has clarity problems. Plus, Claude also does not correct the problem with the fundamental logic of the sentence. Returning to ChatGPT4, we can ask if the fundamental logic of that sentence makes sense. AI identifies that a sentence may be grammatically correct without being precise. I do like that this response provides explanation about what the sentence is attempting to say. Of course, the example I use is only the first sentence from a paragraph that further addresses the upward crisis. At the end of this response, ChatGPT introduces a revision that could be a problem in an attempt to provide more nuance. This phrase may have indirectly fostered. That's very tentative. In college writing, we want to make a stronger claim and then follow that assertion with evidence. The purpose of writing is to help you think more deeply about a topic. Writing is thinking. Writing helps us organize our thoughts and our understanding of a topic. I am very concerned that over-reliance on AI will lead to a loss of deep thinking skills Yet, I must admit, that is already a losing battle. Many students, if not most, will simply upload their essays to AI, get the revisions, and call it a day. As a teacher, what I can do is provide personal motivation for each student to take the extra step. That's not easy for students. Students are very busy taking multiple courses, participating in athletic teams, involved in the performing arts, and there's also the life of being a college student. But for those who can make the time, AI offers an incredible tool for enhancing our cognitive skills. Should you use ChatGPT4 or Claude AI for writing help in revising your essays.